Do you want to get some extra farming experience with a chance of receiving the bottomless compost bucket? Start doing your Hespori runs. You can receive Hespori seeds during a variety of farming activities. Checking tree health, harvesting herbs, completing farming contracts and so on. When you receive your Hespori seed, you can plant it at the farming guild located in the west of Zea. To access the farming guild, you'll need a minimum of 60% Hosidius favor. You can get there by teleporting with a skills necklace or with a battlefront teleport from the Archaea spellbook. On the west side of the farming guild, you can find a cave you can enter. Here you can plant your Hespori seeds. Planting the seed will require 65 farming. You can however easily boost from level 62 with a garden pie. The seed will take somewhere between 22 and 32 hours to grow, depending on the farming cycle. Once the Hespori tree has fully grown, you can fight it by harvesting it. For the fight, I would recommend having 60 plus attack and strength, and 37 plus prayers so you can use protect from magic. Hespori is weak to slash, so bring a good slash weapon like a dragon scimitar or a whip. Some armor with high range defense, for example Barrows or Banos armor, is nice to have. For the inventory, bring a super combat potion, an anti-poison, a prayer potion and your spade. To kill the flowers he summons, it's nice to have some cheap darts or knives with you and fill the rest of your inventory with food. Drink your potions and put on protect from magic and piety. Click Harvest Hespori to start the fight. As soon as he's disturbed, he'll start off with a special ability. He will summon 4 flowers surrounding him and before you can deal any damage to Hespori, you'll have to kill all the flowers. These always die in one hit, for this reason it's nice to have the fast hitting darts or knives. After you've killed the 4 flowers, you can start dealing damage to Hespori. At 66 and 33% health, he'll resummon the flowers for you to kill. He will also occasionally use a special attack and bind you with his roots. When you get rooted, just spam click on the floor until you break free and can move again. After you break free, just continue killing the boss. If you don't free yourself in time from the vines, you'll take over 40 damage, so make sure to pay attention for this special attack. That's pretty much it, if you want to check out the other skilling bosses, I'll put a playlist on screen now. Thanks for watching my guide, see ya!